Good morning everyone. Um, I just thought I would do another video uh, on another piece of, uh, it's pretty regular piano maintenance. Uh, you can almost think about it like replacing the brake pads on your car or uh, or something like that or changing the oil. But uh, what I'm talking about today is key bushing replacement. Um, so probably if you own a piano and you use it a pretty good amount, um, your technician eventually will recommend key bushing replacement. And by key bushings, they mean, so these are piano keys, they're, they're upside down right now. Um, but the, key, the keys have uh, a rectangular mortise in them. And there's a piece of felt like this. And typically that felt would be down inside of that hole lining both sides. I've already taken the old ones out. Um, this is a Steinway D action. Um, so <clears throat> you can see what what happens is that the felt wears. Uh, there's a metal pin, uh, which I'll show you what that looks like. So this is the action frame. You see how dirty it is? It's all got to be cleaned. Well, the key is right on these metal pins here. They're actually oval shaped in the front. And that's so is the, is the key bushings where you can actually turn them a little bit to take some of the play out of the keys. Um, but obviously as you play the piano, the keys are sliding on those metal pins and it wears the felt eventually. Um, and so <clears throat> after a while, you'll start noticing on your piano that the keys have a lot of uh, lateral play in them. They'll start going back and forth. Um, and sometimes they'll even uh, touch the key next to them if they get really bad. Um, or if you're wiggling them back and forth and you start noticing that you hear clicking like, like it's just hitting the wood instead of a piece of felt being in there, um, you definitely need to have them replaced right away and I'll show you why. Um, so these, I, I, what you do to steam them out, they're usually glued in with, um, with hot hide glue, which is an animal product, it's, and it comes out with steam. So um, I use just a, a tea kettle. And so um, I steam them out. And, uh, <clears throat> and then after that, you can see there's a lot of residue from the old felt in here. And so I take a, a piece of sandpaper, like one of these little, uh, these little guys here, and I go inside the mortises and I, I sand them out. And, and what happens as well, um, what you can see is there should be like a little, a little cutout where the felt sits. Because the felt will fold over and it has to sit down in that little recess. You don't want the felt coming up past the bottom of the key. And on a piano like this, the, the cutouts are actually pretty bad and they're not really shallow or large enough. Um, and so the problem that causes is if these... These mortises get really worn. You have to put a thicker piece of felt in than what you would have started out with. And so they'll, the felt will actually be raised up beyond the bottom of the key. And that will actually cause a problem because the keys won't go down quite far enough. Because that felt is sticking out. So what you have to do is go with a chisel and chisel this out. So you can actually see these little, these little lines I've made. That's where I took a chisel and I, I cut it like this on each side to make a starting point. And then I go in later and I chisel them out. So you see how these are all cut. And that's so when I glue them in, so this is, you can see how they get glued in with this call here. So that felt gets laid across and then it's cut in the middle. And then this call helps glue it down. And you can see that now since I cut it out, that felt is gonna sit down there and not stick out past the bottom of the key. So I see a ton of key bushing jobs done where they don't bother with this. And you would think, well, who cares if it sticks out a little bit? Well, if, the thing is, if it's sticking out 15 thousandths too far, that, that affects the touch of the piano actually a lot more than you would think. A pianist would definitely notice that. And it would mess up the regulation on the action. Um, so, you know, it's a pain in the butt. It takes, it takes a lot of time to do this. These keys are spruce, so they're super soft, so it's really hard to chisel these out where they're reasonably clean. Now, another thing on Steinway keys, look at how off-center these uh, mortises are on these sharp keys. It's kind of ridiculous. I mean, it's pretty shoddy. Well, and so this is another reason 
why you need to get these things replaced. You see how this one here? Now it was already too thin on one side, but basically that felt wore out and then they kept playing it. And so it just ate right through the wood. And a previous technician actually put a like a wooden shim out here. I'm gonna do a better repair on this. This is not really um, a good repair. I don't really care for this style. I'll probably actually cut a little bit of the key out and then I'm gonna put a block of wood that, that juts out in here so it's the right size and then really glue this well um, because this this here is just not that's not going to get the job done um, and um, so anyway but this is a really important job because if the keys have a lot of play in them the piano just feels really unstable to play um, you really need the keys to just go straight up and down if they're going side to side you, it's really hard to play the piano. It's not going to feel as predictable. Um, it's also, you know, there's another key bushing in the in the middle of the key. If I flip the key over, there's another one. So the one in the middle, in the balance, it keeps the key from rotating this way. And the one in the front keeps the key traveling straight up and down. So, you know, these ones up here, they need to be, they need to be pretty tight around the key pin. Um, you know, otherwise you get a lot of rotation in the key. It's also not great for the action parts when you have a lot of play in this. And you can get, <clears throat> um, you know, these holes here, these are called balance rail holes. These are meant to fit exactly on the key pin, um, but you don't want any play in them. If they have any play front to back, they'll make a lot of noise. Um, but if they're too tight, then they can cause excess friction. Um, so, you know, there's always a, a fine balancing act between keys that are precisely fit, but don't stick. Um, you know, and a lot of times on new key bushings, one of the common problems after you replace these um, is that you want them to fit a little on the snug side when they're new, because as you play them in, they're going to get looser. So if you fit these too loose to start with, once you play them in, they're gonna be sloppy again, and you're gonna have to replace them. So it just, it's really an art to sizing key bushings where they fit just perfectly. Uh, it takes a lot of experience. And you know, people wonder why it's so expensive to replace key bushings. Um, and this is why, it just takes a lot of time. Going through and chiseling all these out, and making them fit properly and doing a really good job um, and getting a really good fit, um, it takes time and it takes a lot of expertise to do it right. The other thing that I do after I replace all these key bushings is I go through and iron all the felt with a, I've got like a soldering iron with a tip on it that's the right size and I just iron them down, which kind of helps them to hold their shape and not start poofing out. Um, and you know, then there'll be a lot of fitting. Then I go through and I polish all these key pins. So these are pretty dirty. So I'm gonna go through with compound, like rubbing compound and just basically shine them up till they're clean. Now if they're really bad and the plating is really worn through and or they're rusted or anything like that, then you just replace them because it's not worth it. You know, you can spend hours and hours and these have to be slick. If, if these have a lot of friction on them, you'll never have keys that will really feel precise and crisp and, uh, <clears throat> and all that. So anyway, So that's the piano nerd lesson for today. Uh, so if your technician says, get your key bushings replaced, you should probably do it. Otherwise, it could cause a lot more problems. It takes me a lot more time and I might have to charge you more because if I have to fix a lot of keys, you know, like this one right here. See how it's all eaten out one side? Yeah. And this one, I'm gonna have to probably, uh, shim a lot of these here to make them the right size again. Otherwise they won't fit right. All right, thanks very much. Have a good morning, bye.